Here is another remarkable design. Even when it closes its eyes, it can still see its surroundings through special openings under its eyelids. When the danger is past, it relaxes and stops acting. Very well, but who taught this bird to act in this way? Again, we come face to face with the truth. It is the flawless and incomparable artistry of God who created everything. Creatures that make clothing. Some animals make clothing to hide themselves from their enemies. The interesting thing is that some larvae, newly hatched young insects, do this. The walking mosaic you see here is actually a small larva. Its costume is made of little pieces of stone that have carefully been placed on it and give it perfect camouflage. Larvae have several different costumes. Just as they have costumes made of smooth little pieces of wood, they also make more showy costumes for themselves from leaves. These creatures newly emerge from the egg know nothing about the outside world. They are little larvae with no intelligence or consciousness. So, why do they load heavy weights on their backs? The activity of these creatures is an intelligently designed method of camouflage. The camouflage does not belong to the creatures that display it, but to another power that rules them. God created all these wonderful qualities of living things. They are all proof of His infinite intelligence and knowledge. The camouflage ability of golden birds, their skill in acting a part, their qualities of courage and self-sacrifice make them creatures that truly amaze us. This bird that lives in Patagonia makes its nest in an open pasture. Immediately before the mother bird lays the egg, it is covered with earth designs. This is a special defense created to camouflage the egg. So, the eggs will not be noticed in the grass. If a vulture, human beings, or some other danger approaches the nest, the golden bird makes some surprising movements. It leaps out of its nest and begins running. Then it imitates a bird with a broken wing in the grass. When the stranger comes up close to it, it starts to run off again. Farther on, it lies down on the ground again and pretends to be injured. Its purpose is to distract the approaching stranger's attention from the nest. When the danger is sufficiently passed, it stops acting and flies back to the nest. Here the bird displays remarkable behavior. It is a great act of self-sacrifice for a little bird to put itself in danger for its young. This self-sacrifice cannot be explained at all by the theory of evolution, which claims that animals are selfish. 
The example of the golden bird discredits this assumption and shows once again that God has created in animals their intelligent and self-sacrificial behavior. Let's think again. Whenever we look at nature, we always see the same truth. The fact that God has created all animals and every living thing with its perfect qualities is a proof of creation. The methods of camouflage and intelligent behavior that we have seen in this film are only a few examples. Each one of the animal species in nature has its specially created qualities and superior features. All this wondrous creation belongs to the Almighty God, the Lord of heaven and earth, and all that lies between. It is the duty of intelligent people to think about God's creation and to exalt and praise Him. A verse in the Quran commands, All praise belongs to God, the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth, Lord of all the worlds. All greatness belongs to Him in the heavens and earth. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise.